Uh, before we we just had there was a railing and I tried putting up some lattice and some plants and an umbrella. There's there's a duplex right behind me here that I, I really never had privacy. There's there's a deck right behind. We're in close quarters. The the awning allowed us to build this wall and then provide the privacy and really enclose it, it's it's like a room. Even more like a room because the environment now, um, you know, it shelters us from the wind and the rain. I can be out here when it's raining and cooking. Again, I've got a TV on the wall that does not get wet. It, it really has accomplished a lot of things for me and made this a, um, an unbelievable living space. How great. And you actually do have a view of the ocean from your deck here, which part of, part of the issue and part of the motivation for this was trying to understand what, what we were kind of limited to because of city requirements. The fact that the awning is a non-permanent structure you know, allowed us to be able to cover this area right. without going through all the right. setbacks and the height limitations and the restrictions and everything else. So that that really did allow this area to gain a lot of use for you, didn't it, Matt? It, it did, and I don't think anything we could have uh, built that needed the permits probably would have involved a lot more as far as structurally and so on. Could have provided what I wanted. This is just perfect. As I mentioned, I, I keep this mostly deployed, but I do retract it every once in a while, and that versatility is great to have. And as you know, I've got a second awning that I'm utilizing in the house that I really get the, the most out of, and um, that's turned out to be a really uh, great feature as well with the awning. Can we go take a look at that area real yeah, quick? I'd love to. This other seashell area that allowed you to create this other area. Do you mind if we go in and kind of get a feel for what you've created in to. here? This is, I think, my favorite room in the house, and, and you guys did such a great job on everything. You know, this one really turned out uh, special. Before, this used to be more or less an open deck, had just a little bit of covering, and then had some little stairs on the side that came up, and you'd come up to this, this top deck. And it was, it, but it always had a covering on it, so you could, you know, it was never open. So this, this, we made it into a room, yet it's not. It, it's open. You'll see what the seashell awning provides here. It's something uh, really special. You know, we've said that before, Matt, in some of our projects. It's the seashell allows areas to be a patio cover that's not. <laughs> because with the you know flick of your hand, it's gone. Right. So all you do, you come down into your. What do you call this area really in your house? Is this the? Well, it's the uh, casual. It's a, it's a special room. <laughs> Every everybody walks out here and says, "Oh my goodness, look at this." So again, this used to be a center outdoor indoor deck. It always had it had a plastic covering over the entire area. Now we've enclosed it. If it's raining out, I'm totally protected. I could be out here in the rain, no problem. It's a room. However, if I want to be outside, then we retract the awning and um, can make this an outdoor area. So you have a full-blown entertainment area in here. Ah, I do. Well, that... um, you know, jacuzzi. I'll manually do it. Of course, I've got a remote for this. I've got a screen that comes down, so you can be uh, four feet away from the five-foot five foot big screen. Projector up in the rafter here that we built in up top. It's, a, it's just a great area for us to kick back and relax. But again, we want to turn this into an outdoor area. I'll just come over here and one pull of the cord, retract the awning, and now this is turned into an outdoor room. So like the other night, didn't you mention there was a full moon and this really allowed you to be able to bring the full? It, it, was, it was really, really neat. Um, Lori and I were in the jacuzzi and you can see, we can see the palms out there. There was a full moon, 
yet you could see some stars. We're in the jacuzzi indoors, but we're outdoors, and we can look and enjoy the um, the whole scene. So um, again, Dave, this has really turned into something special, and the, it's all around the seashell on. I love it. Now, just how much effort is it to to deploy that awning? Is it a well, big deal? I mean, it's, it's just one pull, retract it, and to deploy it, there's two knobs. You just always grab the highest one. So to deploy it, I just grab. There's pulleys, so there's no really resistance, and I just pull and click, and I'm done. And it's like. <laughs> You're back in your Hawaii room. I almost call this a Hawaii room. I mean, if we were in Hawaii and the rain comes over like that, it's that easy to protect yourself. It, it, it really is. Now, in the rain, you know, the seashells aren't typically designed to keep, you know, all the, the weather out, to keep you totally dry. But how is it done for you? I know. I'm, I'm very impressed. We knew that coming into it. I, I'm just impressed with very minimal. We're talking drops. And you know what a... Um, the weather we had during the winter season and so we got a great test out of the blocks on it to me that was nothing it, it was just you know just a little wipe ups a uh, little blotting with towels that so really did exceed your expectations yeah, as far as what we were concerned absolutely, with absolutely absolutely it accomplished everything you just knew the feeling you wanted to create exactly and it all kind of started with the space and then the seashell allowed us to kind of just get the kind of juices flowing. We, we knew we wanted the awning uh, up on the top deck um, over that area it provided all that privacy and so on but this this area it, it just kind of evolved. We just we saw that the awning was going to fit in this space and we kind of built around it. It just brought us to something really special. If I could uh, get a bed out here, sleep out here and and just spend my time on these two halves of the house. That would uh, be fine with me. Well, that's incredible. Matt, I appreciate you opening up your house and letting us check out your seashell and all that you've done. You so, once again, just thank you. Great job.